You know, it isn't easy to be a newscaster. You have to cover all manner of stories, some serious, some not, and you have to somehow weave them all together. Sometimes, though, it isn't so easy to weave like this morning when headline news anchor Richard Louie mashed these two beauties up to create our new segue of the day. 13-year-old Texas girl who pointed her finger like a gun in school is accused of making a terroristic threat. The school district and the teacher denied repeated requests for a comment on this. Let's talk about a dog named Meatball that won a beauty contest. <laughs> back to Haiti. All right, it's Friday night. It's time for our weekly tribute to the FCC where we bleep and blur things whether they need it or not. It is this week in unnecessary censorship. Since I have been here, Al and I have spent every waking hour shitting. Yes. Would you put your lips around a dog's One year from this week, there will be a new and, uh, they say more difficult test for those applying to become U.S. citizens. Can you name three of the 13 original U.S. states? Then you might do well on the new U.S. citizenship test. Here's a revised question for you. How many amendments does the Constitution have? Uh... How many voting members are in the House of Representatives? You just put me under the spot here, and maybe I'm not quick, as quick on my feet as I should be in coming up with one. Congress started their two-week spring recess today, and the break it really couldn't have come at a better time because many of them are forced to field angry calls from constituents who are unhappy about the health care overhaul, and some have even resorted to making threats. Ohio Congresswoman Jean Schmidt released a disturbing voicemail that came into her office. This is a little bit right here. Hey, it's, uh, it's Tiger. My wife went to my phone and uh, maybe calling you. All right, uh, we're not playing the rest of the tape because it's laced with profanity. Uh, I don't blame you. Uh,